Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for... Shoots! Tries to get it forward quickly. They do like to defend with a few more men behind the ball now in deeper areas. It's the kill! Superb goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. France take the early advantage. Matuidi gets it back and the counter is on. Hit long and direct. Face to face with the keeper. Great strike, but the keeper's equal to it. Oh, sweet feet. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Benfica will have a game plan here, Jim. What do you think it might be? I think Peter, having played in, in a good passing team, I like the way they go about their business. They're polished and can shine with the very best. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Griezmann gets his final warning. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. France making the ideal start. It is something to build on. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive, and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on, and another goal is on the cards. Pixie. Fakir. It's a promising ball. Shiro! Really well taken goal. Two to the good. They have breathing space. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. France get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Pixie. Samaris. Rafa Silva. Titi goes looking. And here's Rafa Silva. It's a brilliant interception. Matuidi. And it's Mondi. Fakir. Pixie. And here's Rafa Silva. Goes for it! It's off target and by quite a way. Quick thinking and quick control, Peter. That creates a, a little more working space. Giroud, Pogba, now it's Rafa Silva, and it's been taken straight back, a 
lobs it in gently. A little chip. No, not quite. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And it's Matuidi. Giroud. He could be in here. Pixie. And here's Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva, good take, and he's had a big chance. They've done it. Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal. What about that, Jim Beglin? Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen, so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. France head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. Well, the action has already resumed here. Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva. Seferovic hits it! Well, it's gone out again, and so we'll have a repeat corner. Griezmann drives it forward. Now it's Fekir, gets away from his opponent. Pogba, it's Pogba! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Sofenovic gets it away. Conte. No, that's not the ball he wanted. It's Mondi. Made into space out wide. Fakir. Fired deep toward. Massive leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Well, if you give him something to attack in the air, he's most likely to, to get there. It's what he does best. Giroud taking his leave here, having got himself on the score sheet. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Well, looking at that last chance they created, the middle has been a very good source for them, hasn't it? Um, well, recently, certainly, at least. Conte. Well, there's no sign here of forwards working back. They are staying upfield. They are, Peter, and it gives them a chance to, to break, but it's also causing a, an extra defensive presence to, to prevent that. Samaris. To 
Find Rudd and he's happy to keep going. Rafa Silva. And the shot! It's there! They are right back in business. His position was perfect. The invitation was there for him. And his response, absolutely clinical. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. This has become one superb game. Griezmann! And he just whacks it away. over the line Rafa Silva Matridi Mbappe Pogba. Matuidi. Conte. And here's Fakir. He's going for goal! Tweedy is quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded was that? France take the lead. Yeah, it's been their hard work that has got them this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take a toll now. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Mbappe gets it out to the wing. France are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And here's Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. It's just a silly one to give away at this stage of the game. And this is a great chance to get themselves back square. This certainly looks appetising, well within shooting range. He's had a crack. And that is quite wonderful. That is a gem, an absolute gem. Oh, that is a bit special. We have ourselves a real game here. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails most definitely up now. Benfica really looking like men possessed. They need to if they want to win it. And he's there to cut it out. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Kimpembe battles to win it back. Gets the better of his man. Real chance! And he nearly went all the way. And that has to go down as a real opportunity missed. Everything was right until the end. Benfica can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, with the introduction of such a tall lad now, we may well see uh, a more predictable lofty route forward, but it's still very hard to deal with that, you know, if they if they can affect it right. And here's Seferovic. Carlos Vinicius. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Forward it goes. He spotted the run and played him through. 
He's got away. Mbappe. Shapes to shoot. Oh, what about that? And that may just do it. Well, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant set-up and finish. Benfica. And that is that. France win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, this looked like it had a, a draw written all over it, Peter, so credit where it's due. They found a way to win it, and they could take great satisfaction from uh, never losing that focus. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us.